guys, how's it going? Chez back again with another episode of My Player here at Xbox One. This is episode number 26, not yesterday, as I mistakenly said in the commentary yesterday, was 25. But of course, if you missed yesterday's video, then of course, feel free to check it out. There'll be a link as an annotation in the bottom left-hand side of your screen right now. Of course, feel free to check the channel page as well, where of course, you'll find yesterday's episode of the World Cup sticker book collection. That went up yesterday as well. Another episode, and another episode will be coming tonight. Although, tonight we won't be opening any packs, we'll be going through the sticker book sticker book and seeing what we've pulled so far but today in my player we've got two games for you in league one we're at home against Shrewsbury and then I think the second game is away against Swindon it is away against Swindon so two games in league one today we're coming towards the end of the season just 10 games in the league left of course that's if we only uh, or if we are able to uh, maintain that second automatic pos uh, promotion spot of course if we uh, we do drop into the playoffs then there'll be more to play before we reach the end of this uh, this season with Sheffield United we of course do have the uh, the Johnson's Paint Trophy final at Wembley still to come as well P plus potentially another international appearance should we get picked for uh, for the upcoming friendlies against New Zealand and uh, there's another one who's, uh, who's the nation escapes me as to who it is now. But uh, we've got two very, very important games today. We need to maintain a run of form to ensure that we finish at least second. And that title definitely isn't gone yet. If Wolves slip up, so you can see, the gap is seven points. We've got a game in hand. We can knock it to four. And if Wolves slip up, we want to be right there to take advantage. So let's try and get three points today. And we'll jump into this, uh, this game against Shrewsbury now. And hopefully we can come out with a good result and a good performance as well. The kids play me and we've got a man running through the middle. I'm going to try and find him. I'm not too sure why Flynn has tried to have a shot with his head <laughs> from 30 yards there. That kind of nullified the threat that we were posing. Not the ideal situation to, uh, to try and score a header, but still. I guess it counts as a shot on target. If it was Ultimate Team, we'd have five coins in the bag as a bonus. Oh, it's a nice ball by McGinn in towards my man on the outside that's Flynn. Can we get a cross in here from Harris? We can. There's a man underneath it. Can't quite get there. I'm going to call for it from Whitehouse, but I don't have too much space. So we'll try Porter and maybe try and find a bit of space on the edge again. Maybe Whitehouse can find us for a second time. No, they're defending very well here, Shrewsbury. Whitehouse has managed to find me, although oh, they're closing down quickly. Go on, Paul, and we'll tell him to have a crack. He has done that. Hit an arm, but nothing is given by the referee. To be fair, I'm not sure whether it was an arm of a Sheffield United player or a Shrewsbury man, but we still have the ball. Whitehouse hopefully going to spread it out wide. Come on, let's try and create something again, shall we? Harris, please get a cross in. Go on, you've got the beating of the man. He has managed to cross, and he's kicked it straight out of play for a goal kick. Bring the ball down. Porter's going to make me a run. I'm going to find him in behind. Can we get a goal here and an assist? Ooh, he did me with the eyes there as well as the goalkeeper. I thought he was going to go across goal. Went for that near post to try and catch the keeper out, but unfortunately wasn't quite as accurate as he may have liked. He just kind of slipped off his laces rather than actually being properly rifled into that bottom corner. We stay at 0-0 25 minutes in. We come then through Flynn. He's made the, the secondary run. Played the 1-2. Flynn brings it down. Can he get a shot away? He can. It's blocked by the goalkeeper who pounces on it. Wheel absolutely alert as hell there. Manages to uh, to react to the loose ball and jump on it before uh, a Sheffield United player is able to get in on goal to uh, to have a, a second opportunity. But McGinn's on the attack again here. Porter not quite able to, uh, to get the ball under control. They're decent tackle, but looks like Shrewsbury are going to have an attack of their own now. Porter is going for an absolute run straight from kickoff. If you look at my stamina bar in the bottom right hand side, we're starting so tired at the minute. It wasn't that much higher. Porter could be in. Can we take a lead? Deflected shot. We uh, we actually weren't that much higher on the stamina bar when we started the game, considering we're playing literally every single game for the club right now, and the game's coming thick and fast. And uh, we're kind of early on in our careers, so we haven't built up the stamina yet. And we're starting every single game tied. So to be able to uh, to be putting in the performances or at least getting the goals and assists that we are this season really is quite a good achievement, I think, if I were to be completely honest, considering oh, we're so tired every single game. I'm having to fight and scrape for every physical battle and every, every sprint that we try and get onto a ball. Might have to in the last 10 games or so just try and watch how much energy I exert during the game to try and keep hold of as much as possible. Like here, I could have sprinted into the box. I didn't. Oh, that stuck, struck an arm, surely. Oh, I could have sprinted into the box there. I didn't try to save energy by dropping deep on the edge of the box. Fortunately, well, I called for the ball. It didn't actually come to us, but fortunately, uh, it did come to a Sheffield United man. But unfortunately, 
we weren't able to take the lead. The ball's kind of bouncing off arms here, and the referee's not really paying any attention. We've got a chance again. Ball comes in here. I'm going to drop to the edge of the box again. Is Flynn going to use me? Not at all. He's just going to run away. OK, Whitehouse. Maybe he can create something. I've told him to have a shot. Probably the wrong decision. Quick throw in. Let's find its way to us. I'm going to try and find my man. Hit it first time. He has to... Oh, that is a fantastic finish. Just when we needed a goal. He's come to celebrate with me. Sorry, Scoogle. He's literally just come on the pitch. I actually skipped the animation as I was heading into that quick throw in. Scoogle came on for White House. His first touch has put us 1-0 up in the 78th minute. I want to see a replay of that goal because that was a really tidy finish. It's not the best of angles for it, to be completely honest. But we'll pick up an assist. Nice strike on it. It's just really a nice clean connection striking through the ball there just inside that far post I'm pleased with that very pleased we'll take a one new that's a great angle for it such accuracy with this shot really really pleased with Google there but you can't really ask for a better way to introduce yourself into the pitch as a substitute than to put your team one nil up with 10 minutes to go Jefferson into us nice turn oh, tried the finesse shot I think we're gonna get a free kick for handball there uh, I'll skip. We are going to get a free kick for handball, and I'm going to be on the free kick. So can I get it up and down over the wall? We've got it over the wall, but not back down again. Straight at wheel. He's able to pluck it out the air and then hoof it clear. And that might be full time, or at least we're close to full time. So we'll just try and keep possession for these last final stages and uh, try and ensure that we come out with a win. Although we might be able to pick up a second goal here because Google find me he can. I'm going to try and finesse it towards the bottom corner. It's going to drop free. Great save from the goalkeeper. We'll have another corner. This game has been going on. It feels like it's been going on forever. 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 Might have a particularly long episode here. We're going to win this header. We're not. It's going to drop free on the edge of the box. Going to tell Braford to give it a whack from distance. It's not the best of shots. Not really too much power behind it. You can tell that was a fullback having that shot. Will's going to kick it clear. But before he can even ke make a connection with ball to boot. The referee is going to blow the final whistle. We're going to take a 1-0 win from this home game against Shrewsby. Very pleased to come out with that victory. We pick up an assist on a personal level as we get two gingers there in the uh, in the little cut scene. Always nice to have a little bit of extra redhead in your life. Vision goes up one with 75 create, created chances. Only 33% of uh, shot accuracy and no goals. But that one assist and 94% pass accuracy is very, very pleasing indeed. A lot of chances for the team there. And uh, this, we're probably quite a way into this episode already. So uh, you might be getting a longer one today, but who cares? We've, uh, there's loads of action. I want to make sure that I show you guys all of the action. Unfortunately, we've got a bit of a break until this Swindon game. So maybe we can retain a little bit of extra fitness, extra stamina. And, uh, oh, is this going to tell me that I've been selected for international duty? We haven't been called up by the looks of things as of now. So it doesn't look like we'll be making an international appearance in the next episode. Maybe that was just a quick one-off a couple of uh, episodes ago. So uh, unfortunately not going to be called up for Denmark or New Zealand by the looks of things. Maybe we will at a later date. We'll have to wait and see. But let's jump into this Swindon game now. I'm rambling on again and this is going to make the video unnecessarily long now. So let's get straight into the action. We're playing in our away yellow kit. Bring it on Swindon. We want another three points. Maguire caught in possession there by Mason. They've got a real chance to take an early lead here. They've got man free on the far side of the box. If Mason can find him, he has found him. Dominguez makes a great diving save. A second fantastic diving save. But what's that penalty for? Handball, you presume, perhaps? I'll have a quick look at the replay because I'm not too sure what actually happened there. We'll, uh, we'll change the uh, camera angle. Oh, yeah, it looks like it struck his hand. If it comes out, my man goes for the header. It does hit him on the arm. You can see him go up there. It's going to hit him on the hand. Swindon are going to get that early chance to take the lead here. Then let's cut back to the action. Unfortunately, you can't skip this uh, this pre-penalty animation, which is quite frustrating, actually. Maybe they'll uh, add in the ability to skip this in FIFA 15. It does build the tension as uh, we wind up to this penalty but it's kind of frustrating when you're trying to do a live commentary and keep the uh, the length of the video down but Mason steps up cheeky little dink and Swindon take an early lead in the sixth minute taking advantage of that mistake by the defender and we find ourselves 1-0 down okay we might be able to swing this into the box it's going to come deep it's looking for a man at the back post that's a fantastic header who was that on the end of the ball we're going to bring it back level after just 11 minutes uh, that's awesome that was a wonderful header is that Chibangu I think it is We'll have a look at that replay because the free kick was drifted in absolutely beautifully. I'm trying to skip it, but I don't want to accidentally skip the replay as well. 
perfect trajectory on the ball, really well met by Tabanga in the air, great technique on the header as well. We find ourselves level after just 11 minutes, yeah, great technique on the header, just enough power on it to beat the goalkeeper across, back across him into that bottom corner. We find ourselves back on level terms. Calm down with your cheeky little roulette. Find Thompson though, it's going to square it, they've got a man at the back post, it's Pritchard. Good first save from Dominguez, vital challenge from the defender and we're going to be able to clear. God, we could have had a third goal of the game already in just the 14th slash 15th minute. This is a mental game. Comes Brayford down the right hand side, maybe he can find a ball further in so we can have a bit of a threat as we push into first half stoppage time. Having to go backwards for the time being because Swindon have got a lot of men behind the ball here. But we'll play that ball around the corner towards Flynn or Maguire. I think it's on the left-hand side. It's not. It's Murphy. But Billy Pennant's going to go up and he just finds himself underneath it. Can't quite measure the flight of the ball properly. And Swindon are going to break away. We've got four minutes of first half stoppage time though. So there's still time in this first half to get ourselves in front. Unless Swindon are going to get themselves in front here. It's a nice reverse ball. Looking for Danny and Gesson. It's not Danny and Gesson. It's 2-1 Rays but he's offside. It's Davies. Oh, shit. Trying to find me, but I've managed to nick it away off the uh, defender. We'll play it into Murphy. Finds himself into the box again. That is one of the best finishes I've seen from a League One player this season. The accuracy on that is absolutely superb. He had to get the perfect angle on it to get it away from the goalkeeper, but also inside the post without cutting it too far and wide. And that shot. That's worthy of a higher league. That is fantastic. We find ourselves going in front very, very late on at the end of the first half. It's probably the 49th minute. Probably reached the, uh, the fourth of the four minutes added on at the end of this half. It won't be too long before the referee blows the final whistle and we'll be able to see exactly when that goal did in fact go in. But uh, we were involved in the move, I think. So, uh, <laughs> as if I can't remember. But uh, hopefully... The referee will blow the final whistle or the halftime whistle soon. There we go. And we'll be able to see when that goal went in. But pleased to be going in at 2 1, to be completely honest. We've had the better of the chances, but Swindon definitely proving that uh, they can cause us problems at the other end. Obviously, taking that early lead as well. We'll see now when the goal went in. It was the 50th minute. It was the fifth minute added on at the end of the first half. Wowzers. So controversy there perhaps at the end of this first half against Swindon. But we'll push into the second half. Hopefully we can maintain this lead and pick up a second bat batch of three points in this episode. It's Murphy the goal scorer into Billy Painter. Back to Murphy. And can he get a decent whip in? He's done well to beat the man twice. Harris into Billy. I'm going to come short so we can find one of us. He's found Shabangu. Breaking nicely into the box, still going to Bangu, finally gets stopped by the defender, but it's come out to Murphy, who again can't quite beat that man, but we've got Scalgill here, I'm going to try a finesse on my left foot, oh, he's tried the outside, the boot, what a finish! 3-1 Sheffield United, that is a perfect way to start this second half, I was not expecting that sort of shot from my man there. Want him to finesse it with the inside of his left foot, of course we added on the outside of the foot trait quite recently. And that is a one, that's probably one of the best goals we've scored so far this season, right into that far top corner. So much action in this episode. This is going to be like 14, 15 minutes long by the time I've edited all this down this video. Great strike, that, uh, that replay there, the angle, and it was absolutely perfect for it. We will see that a third time, because I am very, very pleased with that finish. Furness has 3-1 up here against Swindon. Is that game over? Hopefully so, but we'll have to wait and see. Davies into Braved into Jabangu, trying to work something here on the edge of the box. If we can get a fourth, that really will kill the game off. But Harris has got three here. Oh, I thought it was going to drop to me there, but it's picked off by Archibald Henville. That's an absolute monster of a name, but uh, Danny and Gesson is going to help Swindon break away here. And if they can get a second, then it brings them back into the game. It's really next goal is going to change the outlook of the rest of the game. If uh, we get it, you have to say it definitely is game over. If Swindon get it, then it is game on again. And uh, we've got, we're going to need a fourth goal. So I think a two-goal advantage is definitely what's going to be needed to ensure that we can uh, we can come out with a victory here. It wasn't quite the through ball I intended for uh, Murphy out on the far side, but Swindon, gonna go, Swindon are going to maintain possession. We've got a chance here. Here's Flynn into us. Nice little touch on to Chibangu. Breaks into the box. I'm going to tell him to have a shot. Goes across the goalkeeper. Great save by Wes Fodderingham. I think it's Wes. It's definitely Fodderingham because it told me on the screen. I think it's Wes Fodderingham, but we're going to get the chance from a corner. If we can pick up a goal here, you've got to say it's game over. It is coming our way. Can we win the header? No, and they are going to clear it. Mason, they're going to try and catch us on the counter-attack, perhaps. Noel Ranger, not quite got his feet sorted, but they are going to break away. Pritchard, 
to Mason. We've got a fair few bodies back now. We should be able to cope with this. The Mason's taking it around. Brayford who gets a good recovery tackle in. And uh, oh, I'm going to need to get involved here if I can. Yeah, we're going to keep the ball. We've got a free kick here. Just a few minutes left to go. It's tipped in well. It's a good save by Dominguez. Now, can we catch him on the counter-attack here? I'm kind of the only man up. And I've got three defenders for company. But if I can win this, we could get away. Poor time. I'm going to call for a through ball. He's played it. We're in behind. Now, can we finish this game off? I've got company with me. I'm going to try and stand it up to try and find someone. And I can't quite do it. Porter's going to win that, though. Finds me. Bring it down. Get the volley in. It's a good save by following him. It's not the hardest of, uh, of shots to save, him, to be completely honest. Not really too much power behind it or accuracy. Swindon are going to clear it away. There goes the final whistle then. We are going to take all three points from this game away at Swindon. Let me know in the comment section down below if you think that was our best goal of the season so far. Personally, I think that's the best goal of our career that we've had yet in this first season. Either the goal that we scored when we were in pre-season at Chelsea or at uh, our entire period of being on loan at Sheffield United so far. But pleased to, uh, to get in amongst the goals in this episode as well as having an assist in the first game as well. So you can see it was our only shot of the game and it's 100% shooting accuracy. 76% pass accuracy as well which is decent, not as good as the first game but we get an 8.2 rating as well which is very, very nice. Even though Swindon had more chances all told, we do come away with all three points with a 3-1 victory. So that's going to bring this one to a close guys. Please do feel free to leave the video a like if you could be so kind. That would be absolutely superb. Of course, there will be another World Cup sticker book uh, collection episode coming to you later on tonight so feel free to check your sub boxes for that subscribe if you haven't already to make sure that you don't miss out on it and or any of the uh, career mode stuff coming your way on this channel of course we'll be back to the AC Milan career mode tomorrow back into the transfer window trying to pick up some big signings before we head into the second season but that's all for now guys so thank you very much for watching and I will see you next time